So welcome back guys. Today is I'm gonna show you a small function in Bash scripting on how to read uh, variables in .env file. So let's start. So go first in the project. So I have this on my rep repository in GitHub. I will just put the link in the description. So I made a small uh, readme file and the, this is how to use the function. So example is the function's name is read var, then you will pass the env variable that you want to read and store it in a variable. So the second, uh, the first parameter is the env variable and the second parameter is which is optional is if you have different uh, many .env files that you have to specify which env file you want to read. So this is the shell script, the bash scripting. So this is the function. Uh, this function yeah, I just found in the internet. So I just I find it very important. So I made a tutorial on this. So the first parameter is this, uh, the env file, I mean the variable. So if it is not applied, it will just return an error, like, like so. Let's try. So, slash read. Oh. Oh, there's, there's the URL. So I must remove this first. So there. Here is the function that I call then no in uh, variable supplied so it return this error I mean just echo so the second variable is this the 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 variable that you want to read so let's try here is the value which is from this env file one so if I will change the variable to user here, so the value is here. The value is same. So the second uh, parameter is the env file that you want to read. For example, I will make a new env file. And then So if I want to read the value of URL in the this file, so I don't have to pass in any any arguments because it is already here. So let's try there. So if I want to read the value of URL in this env file, I just pass the the env file name, right? There's, there's the slash test, which is from here. So it's working. I just show this to you guys because you will need this in our next tutorial, which is on how to deploy the Vue.js app in our cloud server. So that's all guys. Thank you.